now we're going to start the 3d part of it which is but before we start we need you need to understand something that you should have this habit of reversing the faces to the to its original face so this is the front part in sketchup and this is the back side so select the entire thing right click reverse faces so it reverses the face for you again select the entire thing right click reverse faces so just make sure that this white portion is facing towards your camera like wherever you are uh, building your scene with wherever you're working basically so now click on p p is basically extrude i've showed that earlier in my videos and you can also access my shortcuts pdf i'll leave that in the description below you can download that and that's another very useful shortcut too like i mean if you're working on sketchup you don't want to be always looking up on these tabs over here and searching for extrude erase pencil rectangle circle not all the time so you, you might if you want to work fast use the shortcuts download that file use them all right so now we need some proper measurements before you start building so let's go back to our CAD file again now, if you go back to a section of the building over here he's given us a measurement over here so seven feet plus four feet that's about 11 feet so I've measured 11 feet from right about here the third step and 13 feet from there that means the extra two feet that's coming out from here so let's start that so we're gonna the first set of columns they're gonna be 13 feet tall until, until the first floor all right so now that we have that control I'm gonna create just click on control and you, you clicked on P right then control and just pull that just left click once and pull that up and then type in 13 and come on top and what's that yeah and enter so I've finished the uh, the entire wall modeling bit so everything is up to 13 feet at the moment so now we have to take care of the front bit so let's have a look at our CAD plan or elevation again so as you can see in the ele elevation I've got four rolling shutters over here I've collected the uh, rolling shutter model from 3d warehouse and I'll leave this shutter down in the description not the not a, not the best model but yeah it'll do the job and so first things first we have we're gonna have to create this stepping over here and if we have a look at it yeah it steps as you can see in the plan and so that's two feet so we'll have to break down the two feet equally so since the stepping I mean the riser is only 150 millimeters or six inches so let's just go down to six inches at six double coat enter you have a line you have a new face there control extrude actually creates different faces so it helps you create new faces so yeah control again snap it there again control bring that down by six inches and if that snap it there there might be a need for another step I might just have a add in another step there go down six inches again yeah and let's just extrude that my like 10 inches there so now that part is done but as you can see your slab also needs to be raised to that level so again P control extrude snap it there so now you have that part secured and ready now we have to worry about the top bit the height of the rolling shutter so let's bring over the rolling shutter over here go to that file select the entire rolling shutter make it a group first before you bring that in Control C open up your file again spacebar Control V and snap it there it might be out of scale for your model so how do you fix that click on S hold the middle part of it hold the middle point and snap it exactly on the edge as for the height you have to set the height correctly as per CAD so there you go now you have the front part of your exterior ready 
and yes we're not going to create any roofs at the moment or ceilings for the moment because what, there's one thing you can do is triple click on your entire model and create a group out of it so that even when we bring our first floor and connect it to the ground floor you do not have to worry about messing up your models and things you can work separately on your models so create a group put that in a group put the entire ground floor in a group so the shutters are in separate groups and the entire model is in a separate group so all right so let's get into the modeling of the first floor. i'm just going to show you the first bit of it and then resume and then you can go ahead give it a try i'm going to finish up the model and get back to you after that all right so let's get into it then for the windows now that we are here create 11 feet there 11 feet elsewhere you need to find out the window sill if you're not sure and if you want to recheck you can have a try see he's got his window sill at two feet six inches from that slab top there so you're gonna go with that the so two feet six inches so that's your window sill and the height of your window again let's just refer CAD for that the true height of your window until the lintel it's four feet forget the projection for now we, we won't be working on these projections anyway so it's four feet from there so to get that again L enter four feet and it has snapped to somewhere there yeah so that's four feet P control and there you go you have your window hole ready so I finished up the model entirely I've just put in a few windows and two doors over here and nothing on the back side really because that's not important so yeah I've finished the entire model put in the doors and windows I got the doors and windows from warehouse uh, I'll leave the model in the description below anyway so you can download it directly and pull it apart and give it a try by yourself so now we are we're gonna take this part take the first floor and place it on top of the ground floor so in order to do that click on M uh, select the column edge which is this which is equal to this column edge over here so select that left click on that and snap it straight there so you have your ground floor and your first floor ready so now I'll create the parapet the roof and the uh, in above roof structure and get back to you after that just make sure your snapping is correct otherwise you might land up with the model that's deformed from its axes and stuff like that so this needs to be extended till the top over here I'll do so and get back to you so I've gone ahead and finished off the modeling bit and before we export it to Lumion and before I show you the entire rendering and texturing stuff in Lumion I'd like to go over a few points in SketchUp itself so first things first uh, snapping and cutting in SketchUp so basically what I mean by that is you can actually use your extrude command to cut holes or anything wherever required for example if you have that extruded there and when I extrude back over there it cuts a hole for you it is handy at certain situations like this one I created that this hole over here with the same option but not over here so in order to avoid that you can either draw a rectangle back or you can have it for example snapped like that and then snap it back there like that and it should preserve the rectangle for you so that's that part next up is creating multiple copies of certain items for example if you want to create a copy of this uh, steel metal bar over here with equal distances as I have created in my model of here in order to do that if you click on M click on control make a copy and place it to the final location click it there division sign and the number of copies you like for example 10 copies of that divided by 10 enter and it should be divided by 10 with equal spaces so that's the second option that I wanted to bring to your attention which is very handy during modeling third one is always start using models from warehouse as much as possible in order to save time for example the fences the windows the doors they're all or even the rolling shutter over here these are all from warehouse 
if you spend too much time modeling you could land up losing a project on your own you could land up spending way too much time modeling so that's that next part is texturing as per lumion so lumion has a certain way of detecting textures for example it'll detect the white thing as one entire material and therefore we must separate our materials by colors or by textures so i have put in different textures and colors in my model so that i can go so the lumion can detect them as separate textures for example yellow over here red here white for the entire building over here does that and for the flooring yes of course we have to do the flooring bit as well we'll convert the floor to for example just let's just keep that click on b color that yeah so that's that you can have it that way and then this this has some brick texture over here obviously we can we have the freedom to change the textures in lumion again so that's that point the next part is purging your unused lines in order to make your model light you'll have to go into window uh, model info then go into statistics and click on purge unused and fix problems this basically uh, makes your model lighter and takes up less memory in your uh, hard disk and also creates a lighter Lumion model this is very important I would recommend using that for heavier models obviously this does not have many lines when you're working on large projects it is highly recommended so then that's that and the last part is exporting in order to export it to a Lumion version for Lumion to work on it it's very easy go to file export 3d model so earlier on we used to export it as a 3d model as a dot dae or an fbx now we can directly save as sketchup 2020 not 2021 and replace your existing file so the moment you do do that it's exported and you can directly use it in lumion which i'll be showing you in the next part of this tutorial series all right and also at the end the these little bit of details in the stair these things add up to your final presentation so make sure your model is already set up for lumion and if not i'll be attaching this model anyway in the description so feel free to use it and give it a try all right thank you click on the video popping up in the middle of the screen in order to get to the next part of this tutorial series thank you